Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Stirling approximation or Stirling formula that is your n ln factorial equal to n ln n minus n, where n is very large number. And this formula is given by Stokes mathematician. So on the behalf of his name, this formula or approximation named as Stirling approximation. In this video, we are going to prove this one for n when very large to find out its factorial. We have to use this formula. So let's start our proof. Okay, I am writing this proof uh, step by step. So you can write in a note for your exam point of view. We know that proof starts. Okay, we we know that we we know that. Suppose we are going to consider a number 6 and its factorial is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That means uh, 1 1 has been decreased and multiplied with each other. So if we are going to consider that implies n is any number then it will be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and so on up to 2 into 1 that implies this n factorial also can be written as in the reverse way that 2 in 1 into 2 into so on n minus 2 into n minus 1 into n okay now i am going to take the log both the side take take log both side of evolve equation evolve equation we get we get that implies ln n factorial will be equal to ln whole into 1 into 2 into so on n minus 2 n minus 1 into n okay so here log of product terms will be written as in the form of some addition format so ln n factorial will be written as here product is there so addition format we can write that ln 1 plus ln 2 plus so on ln n minus 2 plus ln n minus 1 plus ln n okay so that implies ln n factorial will be written uh, it can be written as in the form of summation format suppose we are going to consider r equal to 1 to capital n ln r okay let this is our equation number one okay so here you can see if n is very very large then this addition or the summation will be treated as integration so if n is very large very very large we have read very very large then the summation will be considered as will be considered as integration Inti integration because when n is so large or very large then right hand side will be looks like as continuous so continuous data can be represented by summation okay so that implies ln n factorial will be equal to summation here uh, lower limit 1 upper limit n so 1 to n ln r into dr now this one this this one will be integrated with the help of islet so if i am going to put islet going to consider islet so here logarithmic uh, is your first function and this ln r multiplied with 1 so 1 is the arithmetic second function so that implies ln we have to use the bypass okay so this one is the first function ln r into 1 into dr 1 to n minus integration of derivative of the first function d by dr of ln r 1 to n integration then integration of 
second function that is your one dr whole dr this is a simple bypass okay simple bypass so that implies ln n factorial will be equal to this one will be your ln r into this one will be r limit 1 to n minus 1 to n the derivative of ln r is your 1 by r integration of 1 will be r into dr that implies that implies ln n factorial will be equal to here put the limit first limit upper limit n so put n ln n uh, into n okay minus ln 1 into 1 okay then minus here r r got cancelled integration of 1 is nothing but your r limit 1 to n that implies ln n factorial will be equal to here we know that ln 1 value is nothing but 0 so this will be ln n into n minus here put the limit n minus 1 right now that implies ln n factorial is equal to here n ln n minus here you can say that n is very very large minus 1 that means this is approximated to n okay here you have to write as n minus 1 approximated to n when n is very very large okay so hence it has been proved thank you so much for watching this video thank you